Hi guys, this is Smitty from Creative Flow Studios and today I'm going to show you all a simple test effect which can enhance the test just a tad more than a simple gradient overlay on the test. It gives it a 3D dimension effect to it but it's not actually a 3D effect but it gives off that effect. So I'm going to use the test, select my test and I'm going to take something simple um, tutorial okay so I have my text here now I'm going to click double click on the text in the layers and I'm going to go to the gradient layer let me just drag my box across a little bit so I can see the text clear I'm going to select on my gradient I'm going to choose the gradient y'all could choose any gradient you all prefer I like blue so I want to choose blue. Let's choose a little bright blue. Just a lighter blue on this side here. I could choose any one y'all preference. Okay. After choosing our gradients, just click OK. And the next step is to duplicate the layer. Hold Alt and hold make sure you have the text layer selected and drag down once and you should have a duplicate alright the next set is to hold control and T on your Mac command and T on your Mac and control and T on your windows after you have it selected come up here you should see a preference with the X, the Y axis also the width and the height and the angle of the text you want to select the width I put in 97%. To me, I think that is good enough. Y'all could try different percents and see the different results. But 97 for right now. Okay. After you have entered your width size that you prefer, just click enter. Y'all may not see any changes right now, but when I add a little gradient, you'll see the different effect. Okay, hop back into your layer style for the bottom layer below. Select the gradient. Oh. And then come back down here to your gradient. And then select a darker gradient. Just slide it down just a tad bit. Just to give it a little darker effect. Come across to this side here. Mm, we can leave that for right now. Alright. Select the gradient slider on the left hand side, hold all and drag it close to the middle. Yeah, about 50 in the location in the dead center. And then use the gradient on the right hand side and drag it straight, holding while well holding all to the middle also. And you should get this effect here. If you could look on the left hand side and look at the text tutorial. But we're going to enhance it just a tad more. I think this brings it out just a little more. I hold a gradient from the far left hand side, hold all and drag it all the way to the right hand side, just close to the end, but not at the end. I click OK. And when you check it, it really makes the gradient stand out a bit more and gives it off a little 3D effect. I'm going to put a gradient overlay on the background just to show you all a little enhancement and just select something here fast 